Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today we're going to look at uh, how to check for passes of the International Space Station or ISS using heavensabove.com. This is Heavens Above our website and uh, first of all what you want to do is set your location. So we've got a list of options here and we can see at the very top uh, we've got this option select from map. You can also sign up, register with Heavens Above but I think uh, one of the easiest ways is just to select from the map. You click on this link you'll see a map appear and it always defaults to this location when you first go into it. Um, you can set your location just uh, scroll across and zoom in on, on the map and I'm going to set my location to Hamilton New Zealand, remember I'm in the southern hemisphere and let's have a look so I'm zooming in on Hamilton New Zealand and I'm going to set my location to Foreman Park so all I have to do is click on, on the map there and then scroll down um, I need to set the, the name of my location so I'm just going to type in Hamilton and I also have to set the time zone uh, so we just click on the drop down menu and I'm going to scroll down to New Zealand which is uh, GMT plus 12 that's Green Greenwich Mean Time plus 12 for New Zealand click on that so once we've done that we've set our location on the map we've given it a name and we've set the time zone it's very important that you do remember to set the time zone once we've done that we click on submit Okay, and then the next step is we're taken back to the um, the home page where we've got all of these links. There are a number of different things that you can do at Heavens Above, including uh, checking for iridium flares. I may cover that in a separate video. But uh, today we're looking at the International Space Station, which I is the ISS. So we just click on that link, and once we've done that, we're presented with a list of passes for the um, uh, for the given search period here. Um, now it so happens that uh, tonight my time, uh, 29th of March 2013, there's going to be a very good pass of the International Space Station. We can see that the brightness is given here. Now the the brighter the object, the, the lower the number. So minus 3.3 means it's actually brighter than zero and uh, and zero is brighter than say um, one or two. Um, so if it's got a negative in front of it, it, it means it's e it's even brighter. So what we do is we click on any of the the uh, blue entries or links, of course. So I'm going to click on 29th of March, and that will bring up a sky chart for me. Uh, so this tells me where to look for it. We can see the the direction of the pass here. You've got a little arrow on there and it tells me what time it's um, coming into view um, or, or rising this will be 19.53 or what time is it? 7.53 this is my local time by the way it's not uh, UTC or GMT so this is coming up in the southwest and crossing the sky and it will be disappearing from view as it goes into the earth's shadow at 20.02 or 8.02 p.m. my local time. Now you might notice that with this chart um, it seems that it's reversed with the um, the west is on the right and the east is on the left and that doesn't seem right but if we go to the FAQ, the Frequently Asked Questions, and we scroll down uh, why does the sky chart have east on the left, left and west on the right? And the answer is given here of course that we're looking at the sky the reason that the chart seems to have east and west flipped is because it is meant to represent the sky over your head and not the ground under your feet like a map of the earth. You have to imagine holding the chart over your head to use it and then the directions are correct. Now of course you can print out this chart. Um, there's not a direct print option that I see but all I do is uh, right click, save image as and then I print it out. Um, so here's, here's the, um, the sky chart, actually if you click on it just as I did you can zoom in on it. The other thing that's um, worth doing is looking at the ground track up here. So if we just click on that link it will show us, here's, here is New Zealand and my location is the black dot there, Hamilton. 
and this red circle is the um, the highlighted circle is a region where the satellite is at least 10 degrees above your horizon the size of the circle depends on the height of the satellite okay so as soon as the the satellite has entered this red circle it's 10 degrees above the horizon so we can see that even from or, uh, from Hamilton New Zealand or even Auckland which is up here then it would be possible to see the International Space Station even if it was crossing over the bottom of the South Island I actually did this about a week ago I'm in the central North Island and uh, we watched the space station cross over south of Invercargill which was quite amazing to think we can see it from that far away um, there's also some other information we can look at um, underneath this chart gives you all the details about when the space station rises uh, reaches altitude of 10 degrees maximum altitude so it gives you the altitude and degrees remember that 90 degrees is straight up so with this particular pass 85 degrees is very high in the sky uh, it also gives the distance in kilometers to the International Space Station so when it first rises it's uh, 2,394 kilometers away on this pass but it, at, at its maximum altitude it's going to be 430 kilometers away now it is orbiting at a an altitude of around about 400 kilometers I think it might currently be about 425 it does vary because the altitude of the space station does drop over a period of time and then they have to boost it back up again periodically uh, which they've done just recently as well again we've got the um, brightness shown here um, so remember that the lower the number the brighter it is so if it has a negative number in it it's going to be even brighter so when the space station rises tonight it's going to be magnitude 1.5 and when it's reached altitude of 10 degrees it's going to be 0 0.4 which is brighter than 1.5 and then at its maximum altitude it's going to be uh, minus 3.3 which is about as bright as, as it gets for the International Space Station um, Jupiter by comparison is about magnitude minus 2 so uh, this is going to be a fairly bright pass but anyway that's how we set that up remember that when you first go onto the website you need to select your location from the map and uh, just click on the map then scroll down give it a name and remember to set your uh, your time zone that's very important otherwise your uh, your timings and everything will be out thank you for watching